Highway 37 is a critical piece of the Bay Area mobility puzzle. The 21-mile corridor connects Solano County cities and some of the most affordable housing in the Bay Area with jobs in Napa, Marin, and Sonoma counties. Yet, the route is challenged by the issues of congestion, flooding, and sea level rise, as well as limited access for bikes or pedestrians. Even during the COVID-19 pandemic, traffic flow on Highway 37 is routinely pinched by a 10-mile bottleneck. This stretch in particular, from Sears Point to Mare Island, one lane in each direction, separated by a concrete barrier, means westbound traffic backs up in the morning, adding up to 30 minutes to the typical commute and impacting Vallejo streets as drivers divert through Mare Island. In the evening, eastbound traffic backs up from Sears Point to beyond Lakeville Highway, adding as much as an hour and 20 minutes to commute times for some drivers and extra safety problems for drivers who have diverted onto Lakeville Highway. There is no easy alternative to Highway 37. As you can see in these two existing options, drivers forced to detour north or south would have to travel twice as far to get from Vallejo to Nevada or vice versa. A commitment to equity requires a reliable link between the comparatively affordable housing in Solano County and job markets to the west. And Highway 37 can be a viable route for future transit service only if buses can avoid congestion. The situation can be even worse in the winter. Existing levees protect the low-lying highway from everyday flooding, but heavy rains and king tides can shut down the entire highway, as happened for 28 days in 2017 and for eight days in 2019 due to flooding at the Novato Creek crossing. Rising sea levels will require a permanent long-term solution. That's why Caltrans, the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, and the transportation authorities in Marin, Sonoma, Napa, and Solano counties have formed a single team to team with you to develop workable ideas and design a modern, resilient Highway 37 that's higher, safer, greener, and built to last. All options are being considered, including the existing alignment, a new bridge across San Pablo Bay, or an inland retreat. What comes to mind when you reimagine Highway 37? Is reducing congestion a priority? In addition to providing transportation for cars and trucks, how should Highway 37 accommodate bikes, pedestrians, buses, and maybe even trains? What about conserving wetlands and wildlife or greater public access to broaden opportunities for all to enjoy the natural resources that flank the highway? It will take years and probably billions of dollars that are not yet available to make this vision a reality. But the Highway 37 team already is working on short and intermediate term improvements to ease congestion and reduce flooding risk. On the Marin County end of the corridor, crews already have raised the pavement elevation, built concrete flood walls along critical segments of Novato Creek, installed new drainage systems, culverts, and slide gates, and acquired inflatable rubber bladders and portable pumps for deployment before major storms. Work set to begin soon includes more paving and repair work, mowing and weed abatement. The Highway 37 team is also looking at options for reducing congestion in the 10-mile bottleneck between Sears Point and Mare Island. These include a three-lane highway with movable median barriers for a carpool lane that operates westbound in the morning and eastbound in the evening. And using the current shoulders for either part-time or full-time carpool lanes in each direction. It would take about four years and cost 250 to 400 million dollars. Challenges include avoiding impacts on sensitive wetlands and minimizing the use of any bay fill. The other big issue, of course, is money for both the interim congestion relief alternatives and a long-term project to completely transform Highway 37, tolls may be a practical solution that can serve as a match to secure other regional, state, and federal dollars. What do you think are the right solutions for the Highway 37 puzzle? We look forward to hearing from you as we discuss the past, the present, and especially the future of Highway 37. One quarter, one team many solutions. We're glad you are part of the team and we welcome your ideas for solutions along Highway 37 and in the San Pablo Baylands.